Now this is your next exercise, it's triangle construction. We're going to do question 1, 2 and 3. And the first question you're going to do is to draw an equilateral triangle with a perimeter of 140. Now an equilateral triangle has three equal sides and three equal angles. But the perimeter has to be a total of 140. So this line has to be divided into three equal parts. But to do that we must get three equal spaces on this sloping line and join the end one to the end and then draw parallel lines down to get the points on the bottom line and then using your compass put the point of the compass in the point here and draw an arc and do the same from the other side and then join that point down to the two points on the base and that's an equilateral triangle with a perimeter of 140. Now we're on to this next question, question number two. Draw an isosceles triangle. Now an isosceles triangle has two equal sides, but this one has to have a perimeter of 135. So the three sides must add up to 135. The sides are also in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 2. So 2 is to 3 is to 2. So 2 plus 3 plus 2 equals 7. So th this bottom line has to be divided into 7. So set your compass to a distance and mark off 7 spaces. Join the end one to the end of the line and draw down And that's your line divided in the ratio of 2 is to 3 is to 2. Now set the compass from this point out to the end of the line. Draw your arc. And the same the other side. And that gets you the top point of the triangle. And just join it back down to the base to complete your question. Your perimeter now is 135 and your ratio is 2 is to 3 is to 2. Now you're on to question 3. Draw a triangle with a base of 110. The base of this triangle is 110 and the sides in the ratio of 3 is to 4 is to 5. 3 is to 4 is to 5. Now, this line is marked off 110, and it is a ratio is 5, so we're going to divide that line into 5 spaces. So to do that, we do as we did before, set the compass to a distance, mark off 5 spaces, and join the end, and then draw them back down to the bottom line. And again, get your compass. This side here is 3, so you have to set the compass from the end of the line, 3 spaces in here, and draw an arc, which will be the length of that side. Now set 4 spaces from the other side, and join that point down, and that's the question complete.